Okay, we're good to go. Uh, it's Tatara Desert, yes? Yes, I actually- Oh, right, we followed Toot Toot all the way back here and- ugh. Okay, yeah, this is immediately following after the bomp, bomp, bomp. I don't know. Let's see, oh, this game is super quiet then. Is it super quiet? I can turn it up a bit. Uh huh. You guys will have to tell me if um, the audio is poorly balanced. I truly don't know. For all I know now, it's louder than me. No, it's not. Okay, good. Yeah, because uh, when it comes to live recording, I've just got... Um, as far as the live recording goes, I've just got two audio streams, so I just balance them independently. And I actually find I frequently miss, like, make a mistake and whatnot. I don't even know. Anyway. Huh. There's humans and there's weird goat people. I kind of hope they actually show us, like, an illustrated version of the characters, just so we can actually see what they look like. Oh! You're the one that saved Lana! I've no words to properly express my gratitude. He claimed he was going to go and become a witch three days ago. We were getting worried. How can we show our appreciation? We just sold off our sand sheep. So there's not much left here. Even if we try to help you, all we can do is read the stars, so... This is the least we can do. Come and eat a meal with us. I'll make our village a special dish. Oh, just a moment. I'll call Lana to join us. Huh? This village is full of astrologists? Well... I doubt you know what that means, so let me enlighten you. Astrologists look at the position of the stars, record their movement, and tell fortunes based off that. In wide open plains or a desert, it's easy to get lost because there aren't any natural landmarks. That's why they read the stars to get a fix on their location. But if an astrologist gets himself lost, that's one hell of an embarrassing story to tell. High-level astrologist can even predict someone's future. But I think the one we saved is a laughable newbie. Just show them the damn letter so we can find the bell plant. Welcome to our home. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? My name is Lana Nia Lucini. Um, please, just call me Lucini. Huh? Tito? We have a visitor! Did it come here from the desert? What? Really? The sand eater was seen nearby. It may have found the village. Our village might get attacked soon! Why, if it isn't little Lana, you brought home a ridiculous problem this time. Why do you think we have to live in a backwater hellhole like this? Your damn husband, too. Your family is nothing but bad luck. L Lana, what's going on? Explain it to me, please. Th that S Sand Eater! The Sand Eater is here! Run away! Ah! The Sand Eater? This is no time to stand idly by. Your mother needs to go now, Lana. Stay here with our guest. What? But, Mom! Relax. I won't let you die, no matter what. <sighs> Goodbye, Lana. Please live long enough to find your own happiness. Wait! Mom, wait! This way, Sand Eater. Go back to the desert where you belong. Come on, come on. Your dinner is right over here. Oh. 
Huh? It left? Jeez, every time we try and bring up the bell plant, we get interrupted by something. Hey, Hundred Knight, ask again. I get the feeling we'll have to do something about the Sand Eater. Heh <laughs> A woman's intuition. I sense the movement of mana. It's flowing through here. The pillar must be here, too. Search around the village. I think something's hiding here. Alright. Well, first, can we talk to her? I'm sorry, but it's still dangerous. Please stay inside with L Lana. I'll be fine. I'm quick on my feet, even though I look like this. Hurry up and get somewhere safe. You know, I feel like the names are reversed. It should be Tito is the boy and Lana... Ah, whatever. Uh, I guess we go this way this time around. Okay. Why? I don't know. Oh, shit. Are we going in the well? Hey, this well smells strange. Oh, I see. There's no guarantee that the pillar is above ground, huh? Huh. A pillar that doesn't exist and a violent sand eater. Everything's connected. Hunter Knight, we found our destination. The eye that peeps at us from the darkness. Stab it as soon as it looks at you. Jump in there, Hundred Knight. Hundred Knight leaps into the well. Ha! Just as I thought, an underground chamber. I can sense the pillar. And I can sense that creature's presence, too. Come on out, you fat sand muncher. You recently became the pillar's protector, haven't you? Does it think it's at the top of the food chain or something? Let this bug eat a taste of humble pie. Hunter Knight, fill the pie with absolute despair and right fear. All right, so I don't know what this guy's weak to, so let's stay away from that for a second. Let's try magic for a second. I want to see if he's damageable with it. Apart from the fact that he, like, goes into the ground. Oh, shit. He's got a really long reach there. Alright, we'll keep we'll keep that in mind for the future. God damn it. I was trying to jump away, but turns out it doesn't work so great with me. So I can't hit him on the... Uh, I don't really do damage to him unless he's actually, like, attacking in any way, shape, or form. Usually having... Ah, come on. You, usually having his mouth open is good enough. Okay. Let's just mash a couple of those into my mouth. There we go. It's probably weak to, uh... It's probably weak to blunt, but I just don't feel like dealing with it. Cheesing it with this. Ah, let's do some finishing blows here for a second. Interesting. It's not weak to blunt. Good to know. All right, you co you coming after me? Oh, interesting enough. Magic is the only thing that works on it. Well, conveniently, that's what I've been using all this time. Okay. Of course, I don't know where I don't know where that. Ah, there he is. Sandy didn't bug. He's going down. Alright, fair amount of ma Nope, wait, no, we didn't get any of the, uh, bonuses. Sand Eater looks really dumb. Yeah! <laughs> good job, Hundred Knight. It was sort of a side quest, but a good job all the same. Not bad. The swamp's pretty nice, right? Can you appreciate a swamp of this caliber yet? Uh, amazing! A witch! A real witch master! But... Uh, this stench has to be poisonous. But please, witch master, take me on as your apprentice! Huh?
We heard you defeated the Sand Eater. We are in your debt. But I learned that my child, Lana, and the rest of the village was saved by a witch master. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, both the witch master of the swamp and you, her faithful servant. Well, it was just a coincidence. There's nothing to thank us for. And the swamp spread under the village, too. I feel really good right now. How wonderful for you. I know it's sudden, Witchmaster, but please, let me be your apprentice. This again? What's with this sudden garbage, anyway? I don't have time to babysit little boys. I'm busy preparing for the Walt Pergus nighttime soiree, after all. Walpurgis? Amazing! So there really is an annual party. Huh? Uh, um, do you know Great Witch Malia? I heard she's a lovely woman! <laughs> that Great Witch, huh? Thinking about that wicked hack of a witch makes me want to puke! Wow, that's so mean! And she was actually wicked? I'm so surprised right now! What about Thin Ice Lily? Is she as cool as Ice like rumored? Is she the most popular of all? And is Suswitch Purple Peel as strong as they say? She can punch a hole in any wall without even using magic! A and Fog Witch Nazaria is said to be really quiet. But she's the leader of all the witches, right? How can you be a quiet leader? How does she give speeches? Maybe she just pantomimes it. You... you're interested in all those third-rate hacks? N not at all! Of course, the Great Swamp Witch is my number one. I want to be the apprentice of the one who saved my life, my new master, Metalia! No, give up. Piss off. Don't make me repeat myself. That's enough, Lana. You're troubling the Witch Master. I... I won't give up! I'll do anything! So please, make me your apprentice! I already said I don't got the time to babysit a child like you! I need to hurry up and find the bell plant. I know! I'll find the bell plant for you! What? You know where it is? Lana, don't say things you know nothing about. Huh? Explain yourself. I'm so sorry. The bell plant is a mysterious plant that responds to the emotions of whoever is nearby. It used to grow in this area, but now... I believe it's all because the village was filled with fear due to the Sand Eaters. The bell plant grows from a seed within hours, but if it senses fear, it withers away instantly. Huh? So with the Sand Eater gone, shouldn't it start to grow again? Unfortunately, there is more than one Sand Eater out there. Long ago, this one great witch helped us drive off all the Sand Eaters in the area. But since their numbers have grown, doing the same thing again may prove difficult. Unless we can make the people's fears vanish completely, the Bell Plant will never grow again. No way! There's gotta be a way! Please, Witch Master! I'll find the bell plant for you! Just agree to take me on! I'm begging you, Witch Master! Fine. When I come back tomorrow, I might consider it if you have a bell plant waiting for me. But not today! 
I have way too much business to take care of. R really? I'm so grateful! I'll definitely find a bell plant! Let's go home, Hundred Knight. I'm curious what the dog and that idiot butler are up to. Oh, is that it for the chapter? Really? Can't be. That'd be... that'd be really silly. Are you gonna play credits for me? Okay, good. Huh? Still nothing. No need for me to get antsy. I guess it should be ready tomorrow morning. The following morning. So late. Those two haven't come back yet. They better not have turned into rotting corpses without my permission. Man, what are they up to? I need to create a protective charm as soon as possible. Hey, 100 Knight, go find those worthless slackers. Prioritize Arlecchino first because I'm hungry. Tch, he's acting so confident. What happened to him? He went off to that dead vomiting bitch's forest. I'm sure you'll be able to spot him pretty easily. The dog went off to Valentine Domain, but I have no idea where. Well, you find Arlecchino. I'll get a bearing on her position by using my dowsing pendulum. If you understand, hurry it up. Alright, so first and foremost, we go back to the house just to pester a little bit longer. Okay, do the goat people have a hammer, or is that a half-crutch, half-walking stick? Felt more like half-crutch, half-walking stick, on. Natalia seems to be engrossed in her book. Uh-huh, uh-huh. As a master, you need to be virtuous before all else. Huh, then I'm perfect. No witch has more virtue than me. Besides that, my skills eclipse that. Oh, that's an easy enough goal. Huh. Huh? Natalia's iron-like fist strikes Hundred Knight on the noggin. He's wearing a helmet, but it still hurts quite a bit. Oh, that's such an adorable face. Hey, knock before you enter a room. Don't you ever try to creep into my bedroom. Jeez, don't you have any common sense? Take a lesson from me, the perfect and virtuous witch. I'm busy, so get out of here. Go, go. Okay, so that's it. Ah, uh, let's go to the bucket list for a second. We've got a couple of things we can do. Reinforce weapon. I do not have any legend ones. I do have this staff that I could upgrade if I wanted to. Let's do it once. Wow, that does not change the attack power nearly as much as I thought it would. Well, whatever. I got a ton of mana. We might as well buff that up. Can't be buffed anymore. I'm surprised I don't have any legendary. Oh, it's because staff. There we go. So we've still got the blue perf conqueror sword, but that's not a big use. We've got the racy conqueror sword. And we've got a lot of epic here, but most of these I don't like. Uh, the Red Wing Sword is magic, but I only like magic ranged. A couple of spears, a bunch of Conqueror Swords, but they're bad now. I should probably sell them, honestly. We might as well upgrade the Double-Edged Sword a little bit. What was that? Rank 5, so that should actually be pretty high on the list. And it does a fair amount of damage now. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. Okay, so we should be able to just, like, beat the tar out of anybody. Gotcha. Let's leave. Okay. Yeah, so that's gonna boost up my... Let me check the... Check this one. So that's gonna be number three here. Yeah, I'd love to actually boost up the double-edged sword, the beheading sword, but they're just common. Uh, and this will actually mean by the third hit, anything will die whenever I'm hitting it with physical. So I guess this works pretty well. Okay. So we're actually going back to Woods Forest. Which I've already been through entirely. I wonder if, um... I wonder if the enemies are going to switch up or if it's still going to be really weak stuff. I would not put it past the, uh... 
developers just making it still the really weak, weak enemies. Because laziness, I guess? I don't know. I forgot how good the music was in this game. I'm just listening to it now, it's like... Was it always this song? Like, it definitely doesn't feel like it. Well, let's switch back to- let's switch back to my regular swords for this one. Because I'm gonna be able to just clear these guys really quick. Alternatively, we ignore them, because why the hell would- do I even want to fight, like, level- Like, do I have a good reason to be fighting level 6s? And the answer is no. No, there's, like, no good reason to be fighting level 6s here. None whatsoever. Okay. I'm gonna just pause that. I have the stream preview running, but it looks like it's running bad. I don't think it is. I think everything's totally running fine on my computer. Hard to tell. Okay. So one other thing to do would be close my other recording software, though I don't think that's costing much uh, effort. And I can't hurt that guy at all, but I also don't care. Because there's really no reason to be fighting them. Why do I keep smacking them? I guess I'm just lazy. Or maybe not lazy, but uh, overly aggressive for no other reason than because I can? Yeah, that's it. It's a shame that they don't scale this area up that well. Uh, originally I thought they scaled the levels for the monsters pretty much to whatever you have, but it looks like that's actually pretty false. And, uh, oh, he didn't die. Well, glorious vengeance that I don't need to commit. Um, but you know, I, I thought I would just, I probably could have actually just teleported here, whatever. It's kind of fun just, like, rolling through everybody. Uh, let's see. Have I ever played Warframe? Yes. I've played Warframe. I have a Oberon, uh, frame, and whatever the staff is, and that's, like, as far as I got, as far as, like, good stuff goes. Uh, but I don't play it very often just because it's such a grind fest and I have, like, zero time for it. And there doesn't seem like a whole lot of reason to, uh, do a series on it, because nobody's gonna play it with me from a YouTube perspective. Oh, Sir Hundred Knight. What perfect timing. I have some new knowledge that I'd like to convey. Per my research, a lazy-tailed chicken is a unique term used by hunters. It refers to a rare magical beast called the Cockfrighter. I've pinned its location down to this forest area. Search as I might, however, I am frightfully unable to locate it. And then I decided to give up and nap, er, to collect myself and come up with a new plan of action. Yes. I heard you say nap, damn it. Ugh, I'm actually at a loss for words. What a lazy sack of punishment awaits you at home. Well, I'd normally say that, but I'll let it slide today. It'll be easier to let the Hundred Knight take care of the rest. Arlie Chino, come back home. Understood. Sir Hundred Knight, I shall leave the cockfrighter to you. Okay. Alright, Hundred Knight, your duty is to find the damn chicken, the Cockfrighter. Capturing a magic beast is a bit much to ask of Arlecchino, but I bet you can do it without much effort. Use the capture type Tochka I taught you the other day. Hurt your prey, but don't slay. That's the motto for using a capturing toka. Tochka. Easy enough, right? Now's no time to wander off, so hurry up and capture it. Okay... Oh, cockfrighter. Oh, fuck. Was that a cockfrighter? No, that was a pinata. Okay. So, my bet is... I need to leave. I think it's I think it's actually in, like, a different zone entirely. It just brings me here, and then, then I actually have to, like, legit leave and go elsewhere. At least the nice thing is we're still getting um, anima for being here, which I have a lot of because my uh, because of that like jester facet, which I'm really appreciative of. I like that a lot. Okay, so we want to do return to base, go to world map. There we go. Okay. I bet it's gonna take me back out, and then we'll have. Yep. 
Thought so. Nip. What? Huh? What? Why am I going back to the swamp? I'm not Arlecchino. Wondrous timing, Sir Hundred Knight. I have a message from Master Leah. Here it is. Ahem. Hundred Knight, get the cockfighter first. That is her command. Do you have a, a, the cockfighter? Do you still not have it? I'm sorry, but I cannot give you the second half of Master Leah's message until you bring it here. Sir Hundred Knight, if it is an inconvenience, but please bring us the cockfighter first. Okay. I guess we don't have an invite here, uh, an event here. Or maybe it, like, yells at me or something. Yeah, so we, we have to go back to Nibblehen's Swamp. No. Uh, we gotta go back to Woods Forest. I don't... What's a cockfrider? Um, okay, well, let's warp back. If the cockfighters are on Henia Pillar, I guess we'll just go looking around there. I guess before I kill anything, I should just use, uh... So that's a Capri Flox. So that's not going to be a cockfighter. Matchup Kin. Matchup Kin. Majupkin. Okay, so that's that it's not any of these. Okay. Any of you guys a cockfighter? Which soldier drope? No. Okay. Let's go check in the corner. Oh, there's something back here. Which soldier drope? That's not useful. Where the hell's the cockfighter? This is kinda inconvenient, honestly. It's like I'm, I'm looking around, but getting nothing. There's, like, the lazy lady. Unless it's all the way back here, which is possible. Now another Mad Jopkin. Might look like a chicken. Yeah, but... Uh, mm... Hmm... Not... What a weird, dumb side quest. Here's where to find it! Oh wait, it's not here. Uh... Like, I've seriously never heard of a cockfighter from any of my group. Unless it's the, um... Unless it's the mana beast. It could be the mana beast that's around here. Uh, there's like a, a weird chicken thing. That if you hit it, it's, it's like a mana pinata. I can't imagine that's it, though. Well, I'll keep looking. It should show up or something. Not back here, though. Okay. Might be the kind of thing that we look for in the next episode or whatever. I have no idea. Okay, because that's how we leave. You might find the cockfighter on a man? <laughs> Funny. Not exactly useful for finding finding it in this situation, though. Uh, yeah, because we've just got these like weird Capri floxes. Unless it's like a, a special beast type enemy, or like not a special beast type enemy, but a, a special type enemy uh, that I haven't seen before. I'll keep name checking things. So we've got more floxes, which isn't super useful. The one issue is, uh, I'm also, like, stupid high level. But nothing like a good old fetch quest that gives you zero directions. Exactly. Like, what am I supposed to do here? And there's a very real possibility that whatever I'm, like, hunting for, I'm just gonna be able to wallop in one shot, and the whole, like, make sure, uh, capture not kill thing becomes moot. Okay, well, let's just wander around Henia for a second, see if I can find something. Uh, 
Unless, like, this area is kind of more of a suggestion type thing. Or... God, I have no idea. This is really dumb. Like, I might actually... Raid the houses. No, that's not gonna do it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna look around for that, like, weird mana chicken thing. Because I know those... I don't know what those things' name is. I mean, the nice part is I can literally just one-shot everything here. There yeah, was hoping would happen was it would take me to, like, a completely new area. Uh, and the new area would have the mana chicken as a... Not mana chicken, the, uh, the lazy tail chicken. Like, it would have it as a boss. But no dice. We just wander around and look for it. I have no idea. Well, that's dumb. Okay. We got that, we got that. What's this? Another drope. Okay, nothing there. What about back here? I see another enemy, though. It's probably another witch soldier drope. Okay. So, also not useful. This sucks. You know, I was hoping I could, like, just kind of charge through a bunch of this game right now. Oh. Turns out, uh... Hitting these guys with, uh... With blunt damage does not do a whole lot of... A whole lot of anything. Alright, let's just ignore them, then. Come on. Give me a goddamn... Cockfighter. Yeah, maybe it's near the end of the area. I don't know. I'll just run through the whole place looking. Is that it? Mana prison. Mother... Fucking... That was like my only option. Yeah, I have no idea. And so unless they... Nope. Not a clue. This is stupid. I... I don't know, man. I don't know who designed... These past couple missions have been incredibly, like, disheartening. You know, I was expecting something a little bit more... I'm gonna say interesting. Yeah, I was expecting something a little bit more interesting. Apart from follow Horn Boy, and then find mysterious unnamed... Uh, unknown chicken that we can't seriously find a uh, beak nor tail of. Wow, this is bad. Yeah, how about uh, near where you fought the boss? That's where I'm going. Uh, yeah, you're right. There's the cockfighter. The only problem is I might not be able to kill it. Okay, so that's effective. I'm just going to hit it very lightly with my singular hit. Okay. So, Arlecchino is a pure suggestion. So, which one's the cap captel? Okay, and it's... It's... Uh, nope. It's this one here. Did I get it? I got it! Alright, so we got the cockfighter. Now we return to base. Okay. Yeah, so you guys were right. Totally at the end. That was really goofy. Like, why even put Arlecchino there? Have me spawn in at the damn pillar, and it's like, yep, there's a cockfighter, grab it. Ah. Oh. Well, okay, at least we found it, but... That was... Dumb. Wondrous timing, Sir Hundred Knight. I have a message from Master Lie. Here it is. Ahem. Hundred Knight, get the cockfighter first. Blah, 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 blah. Got it. Cockfighter has been lost. Many thanks, Sir Hundred Knight. Now we have an item required for our master to join the nighttime soiree. Now then, Sir Hundred Knight, I will deliver the second part of her message. Master Visco is at Saint Dolce within Valentine Domain. She wishes for you to head there. As for Master Lia, she is currently preparing a dubious er. An amazing magic tool right now. <laughs> Interrupt me, and it'll throw you into a uh, boiling cauldron of acid. 
So she says, leave her be. Yes. If there's nothing else, take care. Okay, well, we might as well grab this. And... I don't know. I, hopefully this one's not a... Hopefully this one's not a uh, fetch quest. I just realized I read off everything that Arlecchino said there. I have no idea. I have no idea... What he said. Like, I read it all. But, like, in one ear, out the other, except for... Uh, through the eyes, out the mouth, and that's it. There's like zero complica uh, complication. There is like zero comprehension that went on. Also, where the heck is this area? St. Dolce. Oh, is this the... Yeah, this is the like big town area. We're actually pretty close, so we can just walk in. Let's beat him up. I don't think the Power Conqueror Sword 2 is actually any good for me right now, but it's probably worth a fair amount of money. If not other things. Oh, oh, cutscene. She's having a bad day. Hunter Knight, your timing couldn't be better. I was really struggling to do this on my own. I was about to give up. The 13 whiskered cat, whiskered cat. I got some intel on it, but I don't know if I'll be able to catch it. It's said that the Duchess of Flowers would keep the 13 whiskered cat as her personal pet. But you see, the cat died a really long time ago. I'm trying to see if there are more of those cats around, but I haven't been able to find any clues. I'm so very sorry. I don't know if I can face Metalia. Huh. Well done, Visco. That if information is sufficient for us. It gave me a few ideas, so return to me at once. Alright, understood. I'm sorry I wasn't of much help. Anyway, I'll be going now. Huh. The cat we need can just be created through alchemy. If we know it actually existed at one point, reincarnating it is no big deal. Well, call it a type of homunculus skill. Before you get back, I'll stuff it inside a treasure chest and leave it outside. Don't want it to run away, after all. Now that you understand, hurry up and get back here. What? So I'm, I'm just going back... She, wh what? So we're going to create one? Okay. Oh, that works. That was 70 experience. All of the experience you could ever need. Want, desire, not, none of these things. That was pretty piss poor reward, honestly. But I guess it doesn't matter that much. 